Hey guys, it's uh, Marcelo again from uh, Reef Catalyst LED. Uh, we just got done recording a little bit of a testimonial about our company and what we can provide. And uh, we're just showing you another product that we have. We actually got a pretty decent sized inventory that just came through for, uh, for the more affordable type LED units up to the, to the more, uh, more premium quality units with lunar modules. Uh, some people were asking about the lunar modules. I can explain that later, uh, uh, further if uh, people want to send me an email. But uh, you know, you're, you're looking at the different uh, things about LEDs, and one thing that you can tell about the product itself is looking at the quality and the craftsmanship of the of the build. I mean, I have a unit right here that I'm I'm probably going to be uh, selling for a pretty good deal because uh, I actually took it off of this tank right here. Uh, I mean, if you look at the build itself, two fans, a monster heat sink running across. You got each individual light separated with specific lenses from 30 to 60 to 90 degrees with a very finely built glass covering across it. All right, it's actually very efficient. If you were to open up the case itself, which I have, you will find that there's a lot of space that's going to help heat, air, and dust actually circulate and escape the system itself so the units are, are premium built I've had your typical 120 watt black boxes and these right here I mean bar none there's there's no comparison it's like comparing apples to oranges one of the biggest things that bothered me about the black boxes was for one thing the fan was always on and always running pretty loud pretty annoying if I looked at the light and it was at this distance there would always be a uh, uh, a, a bright, bright glare, but because of the way these LEDs were. Cameo appearance. Yes, yeah, I'm a dad. I have three kids. <laughs> so, but um, and that was one thing that bothered me too is that my kids, you know, um, they like to like look at the bright lights. They think they're pretty. And uh, that's why I'm wearing glasses because I like to stare at the sun when I, when I was a, a kid. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me about my mustache either. But uh, I mean, looking at the lights themselves, uh, one thing that I liked about these lights was that the way they were built, um, the flash from the lights, it was very, very minimal. I can I can look at them from this distance right here, and because of the positioning of the lenses and the placement of the bulbs themselves, all that light is specifically going directly into this tank. Go ahead and view everything throughout. And uh, and so the light itself is not wasted. There, there there's no um, there's no uh, insufficiencies with the light. Everything goes specifically into the tank. All that light is concentrated into the coral, into the fish. Um, the spectrum itself is very specific. With the with your typical black boxes, you know the, there there was always a spectrum shift. I was never. I, the colors themselves were never going to be on point. There was always going to be a little bit of a differentiation. But with, the, with these lights here, the, the color is specific. It's very on point. It's pretty much dead on. Uh, it pulls out the blues, pulls out the, the whites, pulls out the reds and the purples. And this is just based off of uh, your cool white LEDs and your royal blue LEDs, but with, uh, with a little mix of, um, of, uh, of the dimming, how much, uh, how much brightness you set for each, uh, for each LED. Now one thing though I like about this unit right here that does uh, set itself different from the rest is that um, most of my units have the just the Cree LEDs. Now this one right here has two T5 tubes. One is super actinic, the other one is 454 actinic, uh, actinic blue. And it also has the moonlight LEDs. So for those people who are still kind of curious but not willing to take a full on chance on the Cree LEDs, uh, you can give this uh, this system or this unit a shot. This is one unit. This is a it's about 30 inches long, about 7 inches uh, deep, over a 90 gallon tank. And as you can see, on this one 90 gallon tank, it is able to provide all the lighting that this 90 gallon, 48 inch long tank needs. All the growth. Yes, uh, all those little spikes, all those little white spots right there. That's just the the aggressiveness of the coral trying to grow and expand and get bigger so again I will continue to uh, show you guys more documentary on on the LEDs and on the lights 
on the on the tanks themselves. And I mean, it's it's without a doubt. I've been growing I've been growing coral with LEDs for a very long time. It's just now I'm very fortunate to be using a high quality product. And what I'm trying to do is provide you guys with a high high quality product as well to do the same thing. I mean, these kind of colors very difficult to get with just a very simple unit. Some it, Typically, you would need halides, you would need your T5s, you would need to mix them up. But now, you have one unit being able to provide all those options and giving you a greater footprint for your tank. So, uh, I'll take some pictures for you guys. I'll let you take a look. Um, uh, feel free to hit me up with, a, with a, on my email. Uh, it's uh, reefcatalystled at gmail.com or check me out on the Reef Club. So... And also, for the Hampton Roads Reef Club uh, contributing members, okay, if you are a contributing member to the Hampton Roads Reef Club, you get a 10% discount. So uh, make, sure to, uh, make sure to let me know if you're going to be purchasing LEDs, that you're part of the HRRC. Okay, guys? Y'all take care, and uh, happy reefing.